Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Patch Tuesday security updates rolling out for July. And the updates were released late yesterday in my region on the 8th of July. And Patch Tuesday updates, which roll out on the second Tuesday of the month, are compulsory mandatory updates, which will be downloaded and installed automatically. And for Windows 10, version 22H2, the update for this month is KB5062554. Now, front and foremost, the Patch Tuesday updates contain security improvements. And for Windows 10, 22H2, for this month, there are 73 vulnerabilities that have been patched in total. Six are critical. So this is quite an important update because critical is your highest ranked vulnerability. 65 are important, one is moderate and one is low. Now the six critical vulnerabilities are comprised of transient scheduler attacks, Windows Imaging Component Information Disclosure Vulnerability, and remote code execution vulnerabilities. So that's mainly what they are comprised of. So six critical, 73 vulnerabilities have been patched in total with KB5062554. Now, the security update, as you may well know, will also include the fixes and improvements that were part of this update, KB5061087, that rolled out towards the end of June last month, which was the optional bug fix C release update. And if you didn't install this update because it's optional, those fixes and improvements will now be bundled into this update. So the C release update will be bundled into the B release update. Now I posted a whole video on 5061087, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen, but just a very quick recap for the purpose of this video. First of all, the update includes new app defaults in the EEA region. It upgrades the version of the curl tool included in Windows. It fixes an issue causing jump lists to disappear from the start menu. That's been fixed. It fixes an issue where the start menu was not starting after installing an update. So that's quite an important fix that's rolled out. And if we head back to our settings, and we head to our system about page. What it also does is it removes the hardware cards from system about which Microsoft rolled out in previous updates and then for no reason it was just removed with that optional bug fix update. And what it also does is if you go down towards the bottom of the about page, it fixes the about page showing version 2009 instead of 22H2. And that's been fixed. We can see that's changed now back to 22H2. So that's a small niggly issue that Microsoft has sorted out. And something else I've noticed that wasn't in the change log is that the account manager in the start menu for your profile has been restored. Now Microsoft rolled this out a couple of updates ago as I posted and then for some strange reason it just was removed. And this is basically the Windows 11 account manager to some extent or the other. And I see now with this update it's been restored. So I don't know what Microsoft's plan with this is. They've removed the hardware cards and now they've returned the account manager. So strange things going on. And something else it does with the account manager being restored is if we head to power, it now moves lock back into the power menu where if the account manager is not there, it places it in the menu if you click on your profile. So... And obviously, if you click on my Microsoft account, that'll take you over to your account online where you can manage your Microsoft account. But check the video out for more info if you want some more information regarding what those fixes and improvements were. And because the update is 
a compulsory update just to look at our build upgrade by heading to Winver about Windows and for Windows 10 version 22H2 OS build is sitting on 19045.6093 after this update has been applied. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.